in Hollywood. Some of you will see the second game of our doubleheader that will involve the Eagles at the Giants. Others will see Detroit taking on Oakland out west. And don't forget, postseason baseball continues here on Fox tonight. Game four of the NLCS, Braves and Cardinals. The surprising Cardinals up two games to one. That'll come your way at 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 Pacific time. So I welcome you back inside of Studio 7 with Ronnie Howie and Terry. I'm James Brown. Let's get you caught up on the highlights of games around the league. Right now, of course, the Cowboys won it 17-3 over the Cardinals. Michael Irvin returning. Hoping to get this offense on, in gear. Aikman had tried two earlier attempts. They were no good. Finally, this 12-yard comeback sideline route. There it is. Michael Irvin's first reception of the year. Now, Emmitt Smith. First touchdown rushing is his 100th of his career. Cowboys are up by 10. And then Broderick Thomas coming in from the blind side. Excellent job as he knocks down Kent Graham. This now leads to Dallas handing the ball to Emmett Smith. Over 100 yards rushing. Had fresh wet legs all week. Ready to go. 101 rushing touchdowns for his career. Cowboys 17 to 3. Still passing attack for the Cowboys. Pretty much inept. All right, and uh, we could talk a little bit about this game. You know, I was kind of impressed that Arizona's defense early on, especially the left side of the defense, did a nice job against the Cowboys. Yeah, they did an outstanding job. I, I think the key point here with Arizona is, number one, it's a coaching staff. Vince Tobin's done an outstanding job. And, and a team that really is not no, noted for their spending ability. Uh, they, he needs a GM badly, wants a GM there. They've tried to go the short route. They let a 1,000-yard rusher go with Hurst. They let Clyde Simmons go, a guy who can still play football at defensive end. They don't have an offensive line. They need to get some people in there. He's knocked 100 yards off of what they were giving up in the first three games on offense, and he's also added over 100 yards on what they're doing in offense. Last year, they were ranked in the low 20s in terms of offense and defense. This year, they're 10 and 11, offense and defense, respectively. They've done an outstanding job. He needs some help there from ownership. That's true. He does need some help there, and I think the GM spot has to be filled. It's a guy out there by the name of Mike Lombardi that could fill that spot. I heard that he's been interviewed for the job, but they need to find somebody that understands football. Another thing that I was impressed with was Aeneas Williams. I thought he did a great job today. He got a pick uh, interception from Troy Aikman, as well as he did a great job slowing down Michael Irvin. I'm, I'm sure Michael Irvin wanted to get free more than he did today, but uh, Aeneas Williams did a fine job. Yeah, one of the things in this game, though, we talked about Michael Irvin. He had five receptions, ten balls were thrown his way today. The offense still, fellas, did not get in gear. I mean, they still are not moving the football. 37 attempts by Aikman, 25 completions. You would think he would have close to 300 or better yards, but barely 200 yards, just barely five yards per attempt. And then the National Football League, with the ability that Aikman and Irvin and all those players have, I'm surprised that they're not doing better than that. Once again, this passing offense, nowhere near. But the running game today, Emmitt Smith legs, we were reported, we're fresh all week, best practices. The running game looked good. All right, let's talk a little bit about that Washington-New England game. Bill Parcells had won 10 of his last 13 as a coach against Washington. Redskins win it today. Bill Parcells, a little focused early on, but what he saw was a pretty decent gust for rock. You bet. Got the Redskins coming in at 4-1. and one. Here's that early Halloween play, trick or treat. There's the trick. Terry Allen going left, handing to the reverse. Leslie Shepard. There's the treat. 32-yard touchdown run as the Redskins are up by four. Now. Curtis Martin, this off-tackle touchdown run, makes the score now. New England up by three. Gus Farad back. He finds his tight end. Jamie Asher in the corner. Great effort. Skins up by one, 17 to 16. And then Farad strikes again, getting Henry Eller. Simple little turn-in route. Got past the goal line. Excellent route by Eller. Good throw by Farad. Redskins 24 to 16. All right, and that, in fact, did do it. So we talked a little bit about Arizona and Dallas and also the fresh legs of Emmett Smith, 112 yards, a decent day on the afternoon. Let's take it back down to Texas Stadium and rejoin Pat Summerall and John Madden. All right, JB, and Emmett Smith has kindly joined us. I look at your numbers, 21 carries, 112 yards, two touchdowns. That sounds a lot more familiar than recent <laughs> weeks. Well, today was a better day for uh, for me as on the on the ground. The line did a great job of of getting on blocks and staying on blocks and opening up some running lanes for me to run through. Uh, we was able to uh, mix up the pass and the run a little bit, and uh, it worked out for us. Emma, did that bye week really help uh, getting that that extra week off? I think the bye week came at a very important time for me because. Uh, you know, a Philly game, I was starting to feel a little bit better, and I was running a little bit better, but I wasn't quite where I really wanted to be. 
and then the bye week came. I had an opportunity to rest and, and let the uh, ankles and the uh, ribs and, and whatever else had to heal, all had opportunity to heal and get better for, uh, for a week period. And not only that, but then I had this week also to recover and uh, work at the same time. So uh, I, without a doubt, I believe the bye week came in at a, right, at, at a good time. Emmett, if you could see a monitor, take us through the 100th touchdown of your career. Well, it was just a basic toss, toss left play, and uh, you know I'm running out wide, try to get outside as quickly as possible. Uh, at one point right here, it looked like Nate was going to miss the guy, so I had to uh, slow down a second. And once I saw he missed me, I just lowered my head down and just ran, ran, ran on for the uh, cone. And the one at the end, the other touchdown. Um, it was just a wide open hole. Again, the line did a great job of blocking. Uh, players took themselves out of running lanes, and and I was able to get one on one with the safety and make them miss. And uh, the rest was just just running on to the end zone. You know, Emmett, uh, I've always I've always thought that you know for the Cowboys to be the Cowboys, you had to run like Emmett Smith, and the line had to block like the line, and Daryl Johnson had to block like that. How do you feel they did today? Today, I, I think we made a, we, we, we still making strides. Uh, the Philly game, we made a lot of strides, and today we just improved on the strides that we made in the Philly game. So I feel like we, we're getting better as the weeks go on, and hopefully uh, as we get to game number eight, nine, and 10, we, we're a much better ball club than what we are today, and that's what we're striving for. All right, Emmett, thank you very much. And congratulations on a good day. Thanks a lot, guys. And now let's go back to the studio and JB. All right, Pat, thank you very much. And again, the Cowboys win at 17 to 3. When we come back, we'll take you around the rest of the league, update you on some scores and highlights, and what could be the biggest upset in the NFL today. The winless ranks may be reduced by one. We'll tell you about that after this. <laughs> 